Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 23rd of December 2020 and the time has just gone 11.27 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the FTSE 100. Um, the FTSE 100 has obviously been in, in focus this week. Uh, early, there's an aggressive sell-off on Monday uh, over fears of the new strain of COVID-19 that's doing the rounds in the UK. That has prompted um, tougher restrictions in London. Uh, parts of southern England and other parts of the UK have also are under pretty strict restrictions as well. In the last couple of days, um, there's been kind of uh, isolation talks surrounding the UK in relation to uh, travel bans. Uh, but, but that situation has seemed to have eased in the last couple and the last 24 hours. And with that, we have seen a bit of a move higher in the FTSE 100. Now, if you take a look at price action in the last few months, between early November uh, into mid-December, it's been in a solid upward trend. The highs that we achieved in mid-December uh, were nine-month highs, the highest level seen since March. Uh, we, the market drifted a bit lower, which is not, not unusual. A uh, bit of a pullback. Then we had the aggressive move seen on Monday. We we regained some ground yesterday, and we're sort of treading water uh, on on today's session. So this video is about where could we go from here. So let's keep in mind um, the health crisis is an issue. The UK EU trade situation is very much a live issue. But if we just focus on the price action, the upward trend is still very much in play. We're well off the lows of the last couple of sessions, uh, and if we continue basically to maintain above the lows of Monday, it's likely that the wider upward trend could continue. We could head back up towards 6,600. A move beyond that could take us up towards 6,640, there thereabouts. The highs that were seen in the, in the first you know, week, or week, week or 10 days of December. And if we go beyond that, we could then be looking at levels last seen in early, in, back in early March. So we could be looking at heading back up for this area here, the highs of early March in an eight thousand sorry, six thousand eight hundred and ninety-one. So keep an eye for that level uh, in the in the near term. Um, any moves to the downside could find some support from this area here in around six thousand two hundred and fifty-eight. Just below that is this is this blue line here, the 50 moving average. That comes into play at six thousand two hundred and eleven. Notice on a few occasions that metric acted as both uh, resistance uh, and also support uh, in the last few weeks and months. So if a metric has been, of importance, has been important in the past, it makes it more likely it will be of importance in the future. And if we do have a decent break below that, uh, we, could, we could see it's heading back down towards the 200-day moving average, this red line here. The 200-day moving average is often considered to be a good, a good barometer for, for whether a market is strong, if it's above it, or if a market is weak, if it's below it. And that comes into play at 6,020. And keep in mind, that's not too far away from 6,000, a big psychological number. But if you notice how far we travel between early November and into December, even if you do head back down towards 6,000, the wider upward trend would still be in play. Now, if you are going to be trading the FTSE 100, it's very important to keep an eye on what's going on, obviously, with the health crisis, but also what's going on with the EU trade talk, with the UK EU trade talks, and what's very sensitive to that is the is the uh, the British pound. This here is the uh, CMC GBP index, basically the sterling index, um, if if you like, and you can see here, even though there's there's major uncertainty in relation to what's going to happen in relation to EU UK EU trade talks, the pound has been broadly been pushing higher in the last few weeks and months, and it's still in, in that upward trend. It's above its 200 moving average. If we do see uh, a jolt higher in, in the British pound, that could impact, uh, have a negative impact on the FTSE 100. Uh, conversely, <clears throat> if we do have a sizable sell-off in the British pound, that could have a positive impact on the FTSE 100. Uh, essentially, uh, a number of big, um, <clears throat> a number of big international companies that are fairly Fairly, have fairly decent weightings in the FTSE 100, Unilever, British American Tobacco, Ashted, GlaxoSmithKline, AstraZeneca. Some of these companies 
have international a lot of international uh, exposure in terms of revenue. So a weak a weak pound often helps those companies, and conversing a strong pound often hurts those companies. Um, so if you are going to be trading the FTSE, keep an eye out for what's going on with the British pound. Uh, thank you for listening to this video. This is going to be our last video of 2020. Um, so have a happy Christmas, and I'll chat to you in the new year. Thank you very much.